Now if you watched the previous training video, we learned how to attach items like documents or pictures. In this one, I want to show you how to insert a picture, but not as an attached file, but instead right into our main body of message here. In addition to that, if you insert it into your body here, you can actually compress the picture so it cannot be as big and save on sending time and also receiving time to whoever the recipient of this email will be, which is, well, mountain camping here. And compressing pictures can only be applied to inserted images, not attached files. So again, I can't come up here and go to Insert, click on the Attached File, go to my Desktop, and then go to my Exercise folder, double-click on Learning. I can't compress that, but let me go ahead and select it, hit the back space here to delete it. I can come down here and click in the Message Body, and then come up here on the Insert tab to the Illustrations group and click on Picture here. And then again, I want to go to my Desktop, to my Exercise folder, and Vacation, double-click on that. So it'll actually insert the picture within the uh, message body here and not as an attachment where they have to double click to open it up. Instead, they can actually read the email and see the picture right below it. Of course, you can see it says, Hi Bob, here's a picture of the beach we visited while on vacation. And then I've got my name down here, my closing Kurt. Doesn't work, does it? What I can do is click before Kurt and hit enter a couple of times. Now that pushes the message down here, but if I click and drag the message, and you see where my pointer's at, and it's got that little dot 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 line, wherever I let go, that's where it's going to dump my picture. So I have a few hard returns here that when I let go, it'll actually move it up above, so I, my name is down below, and then I can type in additional text. Okay, so to compress the picture, well, first of all, let me come up here and click on the Office Logo button. Go down and click on Properties, and the size is 389 kilobytes, okay? Let me click Cancel, so we'll keep that in mind. Then we'll select the picture because we want to compress it next. After I select the picture, I'm going to come up here and click on the Format tab, which is its related contextual tab. In other words, when I select objects down below, or in this case a picture, it has its own tab here that relates to that picture where in this case I can do some formatting. You know, change the brightness, the contrast, things like that. The least of which, over in the Adjust group, I can click on Compress Picture. Now before I go ahead and click OK, you have a box where it says Apply to Selected Pictures Only. So if I had one or two pictures selected, now remember, holding down the control key, you can select multiple pictures or multiple objects. So I can just say, only apply to those that I selected, or leave it unchecked and it applies to all the images within your email, because I can insert more images here. I have additional options, some of the defaults here that are checked. Perform the basic compression on Save, so when I go ahead and click Save, it should compress the picture. It'll also delete cropped areas of the picture. So when you crop a picture, and you can learn a little bit more about that in PowerPoint or Word, things like that, when you crop it, even though it cuts it out, it still has the picture, the whole picture still within the email in this case. So it's going to say, look, not only are you going to crop it, but we'll actually delete what you cropped out. And then, of course, the different target output. When you compress the picture, do you want it to be of high quality, or is it just an email of very low quality? where you just want to share it, you're not sending it off to somebody for them to print it off. And even if you did, this isn't as good then if you just attach the picture. So in any case, we'll do email, click OK, click OK again. Kind of makes it a little bit grainier, kind of dithers it because again, the quality's been lowered as it compresses the image. Now remember, this should compress when we save it. So if I come up here and click on Office logo and go down to Properties, the size hasn't been determined yet because I haven't saved it. So I click on Cancel, go ahead and click on Save, then Office Logo, down to Properties, and there it is. I mean, wow, that's a huge savings right there in uh, size. We went from 389 kilobytes down to 48 kilobytes. They still, well, relatively get a nice looking picture, although the quality is less than just a bit, but you get the idea. And then when I'm finished, just go ahead and click Send didn't take too long to shoot out of the outbox because again the picture was I was able to compress about seven times less its original size. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.